and we back for another turkey wing video y'all know we the king and queens with these turkey wings here on youtube we got our original baked turkey wings and then we took those and made a smothered turkey wing and gravy and then today today we're gonna make a fried turkey wing but not just any fried turkey wing five stars to it mm -hmm. we're gonna add five stars to it now what we're gonna make is a stuffed turkey wing with macaroni and cheese i know i know i know y'all i get it <laughs> i can just imagine your face right now and like what what are you talking about how are you gonna do that can you show me that sound good or are we doing too much let us know yes <laughs> yeah now here daddy go talk about some how you gonna make this stuffed turkey wings with macaroni and cheese listen don't doubt us over here we gonna make it happen and then to that we gonna make a hot honey sauce to go on top of it mm. so i'm ready to go ahead and get this video started so we can see if this video is going to pass or it's going to be a flop this is our first time making it but before we continue make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button it really does help us out you know, when y'all hit that like button and comment, that way more people can see our videos. Don't be stingy with us now, y'all. We got to share, all right? Here goes the bowl of turkey wings. I've already washed them and made sure there wasn't any feathers on them. So we're going to go ahead and set these to the side. And just so you know what I'm talking about when I say we're going to stuff these turkey wings, we're going to take the bone out of these turkey wings. And I already tried one just to make sure I know what I'm doing before I come on here so y'all won't be looking at me all crazy. So the turkey wing has two bones in it. It has this one big bone and the one small bone. I know y'all, we really don't be caring about them bones because we be eating them so good. But once we take the bone out, we gonna have this big old pocket right here that we gonna stuff with the macaroni. So you are gonna need a pair of knife, something that's small and sharp, that's gonna get around the turkey wings good. So go ahead and grab that and I'm quite sure this is going to be real time consuming as anything else when cooking turkey wings. Here go the wing right here. And what you're going to do is just take your knife and then you're just going to kind of glide it around the whole wing. Now the important part is to not mess the skin up because we're going to fry it. So you're going to make sure that your skin is not all broken up because when it go into grease, you're going to get all that grease inside the wing and you don't want that. So just do it real slow, real gentle. And as you put the knife in, just push the meat, push the meat off the bone. Now these little pieces right here at the top, you can kind of like this nudge under it and just, you know, nip it a little bit. And then this part is the more, you know, you really got to take your time because you're on the skin side. So just nudge that knife down. It's going to take a little second. So when you make this dish, just be prepared and not rush. And then once you start to see this bone, you can just take the sharp part of your knife and just start scraping it down. That's one way to do it. So I figure if they can debone the chicken wing and stuff it, you could do the same thing with a turkey wing. Why not? Just try something different. You see, that meat just scoop all the way back like that. But I feel like it's easier if you just cut this part right here. Okay. And then that way you can just glide it down the bone. Just hold it like this. So that way you can kind of like, you know, keep nudging that knife all around the turkey wing. The piece that's right here on the bigger bone, cartilage right here. So if you just put your knife in and cut it upwards, it'll come right off that bone. And then at this point, I found that if you just take it and then do it like the wishbone on a regular turkey and just kind of like separate it, this is going to fold backwards. And that's what you want. Just let it fold back so that way that bone can be nice and exposed. And the little one is going to come out first. See that? It's just like lollipop in the um, chicken wing. And then just take your knife and just, you know, glide it down the wing. The little bone 
it's easier to get old than the bigger bone. You know, you got to work that bone a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. Okay. And then let's get back over here to this big one. And you see how this little piece of cartilage is? You just want to get in between it. And just run it up against the turkey wing. Okay. And just keep doing it all the way around. Yeah, so that's the that's the biggest part is this white meat right here on this big bone. Once you get past that part, because everything else is so if you don't really have to even work it too hard. Then you can kind of like hear it. You heard that snap. And just do it on both sides. And these things are slippery. So you got to put some strength behind it, y'all. Don't be all trying to like hold it all soft. <laughs> you got to put some strength and then just twist it. Okay. So like twist it like that and it's going to pop right off. And then just take your knife. There you go. So this is what your turkey wing is looking like. It should still be on the outside part. So now you go ahead and flip it on the right side. And then look at that. A deboned turkey wing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then look at this nice big size pocket. And it's still a lot of meat. You know it's not all hacked up. It's still got the lining on there. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all one more. Okay. So we're going to stick that right there. So here we go, y'all. I still can't believe I was in here deboning these turkey wings. It did take me about a good hour or so to debone them. But once you get into the rhythm, you'll be good to go. These are all the bones that I'm left with. So again, if you want to keep this for some stock, just go ahead and put that in the freezer in some bags. And then when you're ready to make some soup or whatever else you want to make that got that turkey flavor, use that. So let me show you how they came out. They came out pretty good. It just feel like a little limp. <laughs> it just feel like a little limp turkey, y'all. It just feels so weird. But they already been clean and I cleaned my board and everything. They ready to go to be flowered. Now this one, I hacked the hell out of it. <laughs> Look at this. I hacked this thing up, y'all. But I noticed that the ones that don't have the wing on them was harder. And I'm kind of nervous because if I take the bone out, then it's going to be a big hole at the bottom of the wing. And it's no point of stuffing it at that point. But I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to still use this. I'm just going to season it up, massage it down, rub it down. And then I'm going to throw that in the air fryer. And it's going to be good to go. So now let's go ahead and make the macaroni. So we're going to keep it simple today. We're going to use the box macaroni. But you can use whatever macaroni that you want to. 
I just felt like keeping it simple since we want to fry them up anyway. You know, I ain't want to do too much. But definitely, if I had some of that homemade macaroni and cheese that we had from last weekend, oh yeah, that would have been delicious. Hopefully, you was able to watch the Father's Day video. I made the homemade macaroni. Oh my God. cheese here go the mac and cheese we're gonna go ahead and just let this cool off for a quick second because when we stuff it you're not gonna burn your fingers off and then don't sit here and try to eat up all the macaroni because you're not gonna have enough to put in your turkey wings also yeah i know how it be when you cook something good and you can't stop eating it then dad comes in and take a scoop right out of it mm -hmm. Today we're going to use this seasoned flour and this is really good. If y'all have never tried this before, y'all need to try it, but it's good for everything. So what I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to season these turkey wings. I know, I know y'all. <laughs> we doing things a little bit differently today, but with this seasoned flour, we don't need it. We don't need it at all. We're going to use this dish right here. Make sure I open up the bag right today. <laughs> not gonna make a mess so let me know if y'all have used this brand of seasoned flour before or what y'all gonna use on y'all turkey wings today just some regular flour or something you made homemade so we got the turkey wing here right and i'm just gonna fold it over just like this so that way i can get the um macaroni in there and then use a small spoon if you want to use your hand Ooh, I am making a mess. All right, so once you use a spoon, you're going to have to use your hand to push it down in there. Okay. And just keep doing this until we're not going to fill it up all the way. We still need some room at the top of these wings so that way we can close it up. The good thing when we made those chocolate covered strawberries, I bought this whole box of toothpicks. So now they can come in handy for something else. I don't feel like I'm wasting stuff. So I figured we can just poke the hole. Ooh. I don't know how we gonna do this y'all. So this is the part we gotta figure out. I'm gonna close these things up. These toothpicks is not working. Those little toothpicks was not working for me. I had to go to the store and I found these cabal sticks. So it's long. I'm just gonna have to fry it like this over top of the grease. That's okay. Now, when I went to the store, I seen the string. I really would have preferred the string method, but then I was like, well, how am I supposed to get that string out <laughs> after you fry it? So I was like, okay, let me just go with these. But you're gonna take the pointy side, put it on it, put it on the end. And then you gotta like, you know, put some little strength behind it. <laughs> and then pull it back out. And if you ever sew, and then we're gonna come right back through it in the middle. So that way, we just gonna go in and out with this stick. Y'all can see what I'm doing. So that way we got this whole thing like tied up like this. And they go to wing. Everything is nice and inside. And then just patting it out a little bit. So that way after we fry it up and cut it open, everything will be nice and even on the inside. And then now we just gonna go ahead and flour it up like we normally do. Y'all, it's just like you frying a um, it's just like you frying some chicken. Okay, we're gonna treat it just like that. I got my clean grease here before you fry anything make sure your grease is clean because if it's not you're gonna have all them little bits and all them little pieces on there and then 
I'm going to go ahead and put that on a medium high. So we're going to prep one more turkey wing and then we're going to go ahead and fry these up. All right, again. So we got our, we're going to go in with the macaroni. And you can stuff these with whatever. So let me know what you think also would be a good stuffing inside these turkey wings. If we was to do these again, which I think we should stuff it with next. Okay. And I'm just pushing it down as I go. Nothing different than stuffing your Thanksgiving turkey. The only difference is we put in some macaroni. Now, if I want it to be extra, put some sweet potatoes in here, some greens. Look, you got your whole day going Thanksgiving dinner right here in this one wing. <laughs> Look, all you need is the gravy on top. Just drizzle that right on there. You're all in one Thanksgiving dinner. Look, this first attempt is not going so good. The dang going macaroni been bust loose. Like I said, it did not want to be in there. <laughs> so we're going to have to do the next one and see how that one looks. Okay, so this is the first one. So we know the first one was a fail. Look at this, y'all. And I turned it over so I could still cook it all the way through. I just took the top part of the macaroni that had came out. I just took that part off. And then I still just made sure I cooked the turkey wing. But we're going to just... Put that to the side and just let that drain off. So let's try the second one. I hopefully this one don't bust too. But if it does, then for sure, I'll just make sure that the next one, we don't add as much macaroni to. Okay, so far, y'all. So far, look at that. Okay, so she hasn't bust open yet. <laughs> Knock on wood, let's hope she don't. I would really suggest if you have a deep fryer, Use the deep fryer. That way, you don't have to worry about the stick, and it can just go all the way at the bottom. Cause you gotta keep turning it and flipping it over this way. I just wanna make sure I cook it long enough to cook that turkey inside and to warm that macaroni up inside. Go. This stuffed turkey wing. This one did a lot better. No spillage or nothing. Ooh. We got this, y'all. We got this. Okay? I had to switch to a bigger pan and then I went on ahead and strained it, took all them garlic pieces out. So now it's just the sauce by itself with nothing in it. All right, so here go the sauce. Just gonna go ahead and put it in the bowl and then you can just dip the turkey wing right in it. So I must say we did a pretty good job, y'all. These stuffed turkey wings came out pretty good. We haven't tasted them yet, but just the look at them and how they stayed together this one bust open a little bit but for the main part so like this one they all stayed in okay Ooh, it's hot look at that oh all right so let's go ahead and cut it open and see what they look like inside I think I'm gonna go with this one right here because it's the biggest. <laughs> so hopefully it's enough macaroni in there to see it. I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. Okay. 
Ooh. All right, there we go. The macaroni stuffed turkey wing. What y'all think? And that's the wing part right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this wing right here. And that's the good thing about this wing part because you can just bite it. You don't even have to bite around the bone, which is the good thing about these stuffed turkey wings. Just go ahead and dip it in your sauce and eat it like a regular chicken wing. So I'm gonna show y'all how it tastes right on camera. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. And we're not gonna do it no more. But if it's good, it's good. Dip it right in there. Oh, hot. Hmm? It's a stuffed turkey wing. I just kind of wish it was more turkey on this piece anyway. Around the macaroni. Just, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't put too much of the macaroni in there. So that way you can have more meat to the macaroni ratio. But overall, you know, Ooh. but overall, it's a good fried turkey wing. Never had fried turkey wings before. Now we adding on to the collection of our turkey wings. So let us know which ones y'all want us to make next, and we gonna make it happen. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And we're going to see y'all back for the next video because you never know what's coming up next. See y'all later.